Hello everybody, my name is Doug and welcome to my channel, Vintage Boutique Cali. Um, thank you for joining me. Today I am here with another reseller spotlight where I will showcase items that I have received from a reseller in the mail, some jewelry items, and I'll walk through these, uh, all these items with you. And the reason I do this is because I really do believe that it's important for resellers to work together. Um, the more they work together, um, as opposed to against each other, that actually is what brings the community together um, and makes it a lot stronger. So today, uh, this jewelry is from a reseller and new YouTuber, um, Allie. She has a YouTube shop or um, a YouTube channel called I Remember This and That by Allie. And her Etsy shop is I Remember Shop by Allie. I will have both uh, the YouTube link and the Etsy shop link down below in the comments. So uh, if at any time you want to uh, check out her shop or watch her videos, um, you can just click on the link and go over there. You can subscribe to her channel if you like to. Um, I will say that she's a new, uh, she's very new, and I do wish her well on her YouTube channel. She's just getting started. But I'm going to lower the camera and we're going to go through and I'm going to show you the kinds of jewelry that she is offering her customers. All right, so let me pull the camera down. Okay, so in this bag, there's a lot of things, and I'm just gonna pull them all out. Now, I, what I can tell you is that um, she uh, likes to focus mostly on um, uh, brooches, okay? And so she will have a lot of brooches in there, um, and, uh, She'll have other jewelry as well. She does prefer to, um, you know, she prefers the brooches and she also likes to do sterling silver and vintage items, specifically sets. She likes to have the sets as well. So let's show you some things that we have. Let's just go. Oh, you know, one thing she did say, <laughs> I'll show you this first. This is actually a plant. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's a thing that you stick in the plants. A plant decoration whatever but it's a little ladybug and Allie actually made this so um, uh, if you like these or want some of these you could always email her below I'll put her uh, email address as well but this is one thing that she put in the bag that's really really cool so thank you Allie okay, I'll put that over here so you guys can see and then um, let's just go through these brooches one at a time brooches and look at there's more than brooches too so this is a this is a beautiful vintage this looks like coral yes it is mark coral it's a very nice brooch rhinestone brooch gold tone sign very very pretty okay. this is another really nice vintage brooch now this one is gold tone and white enamel and flowers on it um, those are not rhinestones in the center those are just it's really cool they're painted painted centers Gold tone. Um, I do not see a maker's mark on this one at first glance. No, I do not. But I also believe that you don't have to have a maker's mark on every single piece of jewelry because there's so much jewelry out there that is pretty without even having to have a, a mark on it. All right, so here is another brooch now this is a um, this is marked this is coro as well uh, this is a, a floor and this is a what do you call it this is a resin but it's got like that um, glitter stuff on the inside it's a really neat vintage brooch 
That's the back side. It is marked Coro. So I know when I talked with her on the phone, um, she is she really and she has a lot of jewelry to list, and it just takes time to list everything. Um, she started to list a lot of things, and then she started focusing more on brooches. Um, but she did say that she has many more uh, brooches and jewelry items to come. Um, so her, I think her shop right now only has about 50 items in it, but more is to come. She also does mystery boxes as well. This is a large, this is actually a very large brooch. It's got the faux pearl gold tone. And this one is marked. This is marked Sarah Coventry. I'll put it this way so you can see it a little bit better. And I'll flip it over in the back. That's the back side. And you can see the Sarah Coventry mark there. That's another cool brooch. Um, here we have a butterfly brooch. Now this is marked Avon. It's got uh, orange and yellow wings. If you can see that, you can see the gold tone with the orange and yellow. If I flip it over on the back side, that's where you see a lot of the color. That's the back side and it shows through the gold in the front. That's really pretty. Very pretty. I'll put that right there. Um, next we have a snail. Again, this is the gold tone. Um, gold tone and rhinestone. These are vibrant, vibrant rhinestones. There is a maker's mark on the back. Crements or crements. That is the snail. Can you see how brilliant those rhinestones just sparkle? Sparkle, sparkle. Very pretty, Allie. That's my favorite one so far. I like, I like all of them, but I like that one the best. Here we have another brooch. This is a gold tone and obviously faux pearl. It's in the shape of a pear. Um, this is marked JJ. Let me put it in the box. It's a pretty big brooch. Fun brooch. That's the back side. And JJ is marked right here down underneath the pin. So that's another brooch. What is this? Now this. Okay, so this is a Monet. Yep, this is the Monet, and this is actually. Uh, The faux pearls, what's very pretty. They have a good, they are individually, uh, they have knots in between each one of the, the faux pearls. So you see that? And that's the back. You can see the, the clasp. And this is actually a pretty. It's a nice weight. These are not uh, not cheap feeling. They're actually they have a good weight to them. So that's good. Let's see what else is next. 
we have another brooch. This is marked JJ as well. That's almost like a, a kind of like a nautilus or a shell type of a thing. It's a gold tone, white and red enamel. Very pretty. And that's the back side. Okay. There's that. <laughs> Check this out. You got a little frog here. It's a gold tone, gold tone frog. Uh, now this one is marked across the back. Um, Oh, Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne. Frog. Isn't that cute? That's the back side. That's really cute. Let's go for this big one. This is a floral brooch. It's a, it is gold tone and white enamel. And in the center here, we have a, like a gray color um, faux pearl. Two-tone petals. You have the gold and then you have the white enamel. That's a large brooch right there. That is the back side. And on this one, I do not see a maker's mark. Oops, sorry. So we got that. Let's go over here. All right, so this is a pair of earrings. Now this is a, this is a gold tone pair of earrings. They are more the chandelier type. Um, they've got, well, I don't know if they're for sure. I'll have, a, I'll have to test these with my gem tester, but it looks like they're citrine and peridot, um, the green and yellow, if you can see that. Got the green stones, yellow stones, and then it looks like there's some marcasites on the bottom as well. Very sparkly, very clean. Um, do these have a mark on them? Yes, they are Monet. They are Monet also. Okay, so that is the earrings. See what else we have. Well, let's look. We have another frog. <laughs> now this is a a lot smaller frog, and it has um, red eyes, red rhinestone eyes. I do not see a mark on this one, but again, it doesn't really matter. It's really cute, so I'll put it there, and you can. Get a better view of it. And for size comparison, you got the two different frogs. That's cool. Very, very cool. Let's put that there. And put this there. Now we have another brooch. This one is the, um, this is definitely vintage. Um, it's got two flowers with, uh, I would say, faux pearls in there. This is marked, um, I don't have my loop with me at the moment. It is marked, I cannot see what it says though. I should have brought my loop, sorry. 
But there you go. Let's see if I can see in the light. It is gold filled. It's got the one twentieth gold filled. But anyway, so we have that brooch, which is great. It's very pretty alley. I like the brooches that you have. Thank you again for sending these. Now we have another one that is <laughs> for the writer, the creative writer in your life. This is a pen, a, rhin a gold tone with rhinestones and black enamel. And then there's a little rhinestone on the tip here. It's like a um, fountain pen. I do not see a maker's mark on it, but again, that's cool. If you have a journalist or a writer in your family or a poet, that's kind of fun to, to um, give as a gift. That's neat. All right, so let's see what else we have. We have a box here, and in the box, oh wow, this is a pair of Hyde Park cufflinks and tie bar. Allie knows that I have collected cufflinks for many, many years, so thank you. Thank you for this, Allie. I do appreciate that. This is the gold tone cufflinks that they do have the uh, these uh, wrap around the mesh. These mesh they didn't uh, these date to like the late sixties, seventies, uh, um, because these mesh wrap around things did not exist prior to then. That's when they were first introduced. But that's very cool. So we have a Hyde Park set of uh, oh, links. Put those over there. Now, okay, I told you before that, you know, she likes to have sterling silver items in her shop. She's getting more items now to put in her shop. She just hasn't had time to list them all. She does like to have um, vintage items, true vintage items, as well as some of the, um, like some of the more retro stuff as well. But she also offers mystery boxes. And in those mystery boxes, I'd have to check her exact descriptions but I I know that she was talking about having you know so many pieces in a mystery box and then you can you can buy the mystery box and you can send that um, she also has talked about doing um, grab bags or uh, you know just kind of stuff like this and so this is a bag that she had sent me as well um, it's just um, it, it's it's not it's not the the vintage stuff it's more um, costume type things but I will show you what we have here um, so here we have, I assume, this is, there's a hole here, I assume that this is a, is that a Pegasus or something. You could put that on a little necklace or something. This is a piece of glass. Um, a couple pair, of, or this is a pair of like the, the just costume string earrings, gold tone. There's that was in the bag. This is a uh, silver tone necklace. I'll put it on the board so you can see. This is just a chain. It's all a little bit tangled from being in the bag, but you get the idea. Six different types of chain on there. So that's that. Hopefully this gives you an idea of the kinds of things that she will be having in her shop. Um, here is, what's in this bag? Okay. This is, uh, let's see. A little bit tangled. Let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, this is a long necklace, a uh, double strand. There you go. Let me put it on this. There you go. 
hopefully you can see this. Actually, it's even too long for this, the long form that I have, so. All right. So you can see that this is a, now these beads, let me take it off of here. These particular beads are, so let's do this. There's a lot of beads here. So the sparkly beads, those are glass beads or uh, AB, and then these brown beads, these are, are plastic. And then you have the gold chain, but it's very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Ellie. Next we have, okay, now we have another. This is like a seed bead and metal necklace. Um, there you go. Can you see that, the multi-strand? And then the back of it has these cylinder beads on it. All right, so let's put that down there. All right, so this is a very colorful gold tone statement necklace. I'll put it on the, it's actually a little bit too wide for this black form, but I'll put it on there for the color. Okay, now all of these, uh, all of these stones, these are plastic stones, but it's very colorful. It's very light, so it would not be that weighty on your chest, but it is very pretty. This does have a lobster claw clasp as well. So that is a fun little piece. Then we have, okay, here's another brooch. This is a, uh, a rose, gold tone with uh, it's like a resin, kind of a flower. Right. So we have that. And then here is another, oh, it's getting all tangled up, tangled up. All right, this is another, this is a vintage brooch. It has, um, this is a silver tone brooch and it's got like a, the main flower and then it has a half a dozen flowers around it and each of the smaller flowers have rhinestones in the center as well. I do not see a maker's mark on it, but you can get an idea, again, for the type of inventory that she'll have in her shop. Okay. Go. There's that. Um, this is a pair of Napier clip-on earrings. They're the combination, like screw back and clip-on kind of a things. Just the hoops. You see that? Right, and they are marked Napier right here on the back. So you got that pair of earrings. Ooh, we got some bling here. This is vibrant, sparkly. Let's put it on the, again, silver tone. Um, Rhinestone necklace. Okay, there's that. Let's see what else we have. We have another, let's see, this goes over here. We have another brooch. This is a uh, silver tone brooch, and it's a circle brooch, and it has several different kinds of hearts that make up the circle. Now those are not marcasite, 
those are, it's just the metal that's made to look like marcasites. Okay, so there you have that. Let's see what else we have here. This is, um, this is another necklace. I'm gonna put it up on the board here. It's got these, um, I'm not sure what that's made of. I, I, it's not stone. You've got some metal beads and then you have some other kind of beads. Not sure what that is. These are metal beads, but then these, the bigger beads are like something else. It's hard. All right. Then you got a toggle clasp back there. So there's that. Then what else do we have? We have another pair of earrings. Okay, these are pierced, pierced dangle earrings. I'm going to put them on here so you can see them. They're very colorful. These are, these are newer, these are not vintage. Okay. And that's the back side. Very clean. Okay, so we have that, that. And the last item we have here is a necklace. There is a hang tag on it. It's Charming Charlie's and I will put it on the form because it'll show better. So here we have all right so it's a gold tone and then you have these little um, these are glass beads all the way around. So there you have it. So those all these last items are things that you might get in uh, one of her um, one of her bat one of her quart size um, you know bags um, and then th these other items uh, you might you can buy individually in her Etsy shop or you can uh, expect to find some of these kinds of things in your mystery boxes um, but again go to her Etsy site uh, Etsy shop and look and see exactly what uh, she's going to have included in her uh, in her mystery boxes and what the price point is um, When you go to her YouTube channel the YouTube channel again is I remember this and that by Allie she's just made a few videos so far and um, I know that she wants to focus more on she has some pop-up sales. She wants to do some jewelry hauls. She wants to do some unbaggings um, and things like that so um, yeah, if you don't mind, just uh, show her some love. Go over to her Etsy shop and consider subscribing uh, to both her YouTube channel and her Etsy shop. Again, her YouTube channel is I Remember This and That by Allie. Her Etsy shop is I Remember Shop by Allie. And Allie, I just want to say good luck with your, uh, with your new venture. I hope you are um, very successful. I know you're only about one or two months out of the gate right now. So, um, yeah, very good luck. All right, so again... Thank you for all of these items. I do appreciate it and um, look forward to seeing your channel and uh, Etsy shop grow. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.